My name's Daniel Owen. My wife's name is Julia. We have three beautiful children, Emma, Lola, and Huey. And in June 2015, we're going to be moving from Ocean Springs, Mississippi to New York City. We're beginning a new journey in our life working with an organization called Global Gates. This will allow us to reach out to the unreached people of Bangladesh right there in New York City. Well, about five years ago, we really felt God calling us into the mission field. And um, we had an opportunity to take a mission trip through our church. And initially, I really wanted to go to Africa. And I don't even remember how now, but we ended up going to London, England. And we worked with a missionary there that was working with Bangladeshi Muslims. And it was really my first experience, really internationally on a mission trip but also my first experience with Muslims. About halfway through the week, I really felt God saying clearly that this is what I needed to do with my life. And so I talked to my, my wife about it, I talked to Julia about it, and uh, told her that I felt like this is what God was calling us to. And I really expected some pushback. We had two small kids at the time, and uh, little did we know we would have a third one on the way. She said that she felt that God was calling us to that as well. Not long after we got back from London, um, one of the next trips I was able to take was a trip to Bangladesh. I don't have the words to describe all the different things that I experienced in Bangladesh, but uh, there's a couple things that I saw very clearly, and that is there is great physical need there. Um, a huge amount of poverty, a huge amount of, of need there. But also, just as much as the physical need that's there, there's a great spiritual need. I remember we were in the southern part of the country, and we had a young man where we were staying, and we asked him, what do you think about Christians? And he said, no, I really don't know what to think about Christians. And we, we thought maybe he was just trying to be polite. And we said, well, no, tell us what you think about Christians. And he said, no, you, I really don't know what to think because there's no Christians here. There's not even one. And so basically what he was telling us is even if I wanted to know about Christianity or what all that's about, I wouldn't even have anyone to ask because there's none here. And so that really pricked my heart and it showed me the great need for us to take the gospel to these people of Bangladesh. There were a lot of things that we had to take care of before we could even get to a place where we could go to the mission field. As I said, that was five years ago. And so there were a lot of things that we've worked through. And um, I think one thing that God showed us through it all, and I think sometimes I had to learn that the hard way, is that it's not about what we're doing, it's not about what we're going to do, it's not about where we're going to go, but it's, about, it's all about Jesus. It's about what He did. It's about what he's doing and it's about what he will do. And it's just about being ob obedient to him. As we, we sat down to determine what our mission statement was going to be as we set out on this journey, uh, we prayed a lot about it and uh, prayed one night that God would just kind of reveal what he wants that to be. And I woke up about four o'clock in the morning and I had uh, this question on, on my mind. Was, what is Jesus worth to you? And um, so pondered that and just got into to the scripture and, and jotted down our mission statement. Our mission statement is we will seek to glorify God the Father by showing people the incomparable worth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's our desire. As we go to New York, as we go to the Muslim, uh, Bangladeshi Muslim people of New York, uh, we want them to see the incomparable worth of Jesus. Muslims put worth to Jesus. They believe he's a prophet and they hold him in high esteem, but they don't see him as the way, the truth, and the life. And it's our desire to help them to see that. So you might be asking why New York? Um, and I probably would have asked the same question too. Well, as we were able to go to New York and see the vast amount of people groups that are there in New York from all over the world, Every tribe, tongue, and nation is right there in New York. There's probably over three million people from unreached people groups right there in New York City. God has really brought the nations to us here in the United States. 
and our hearts were really drawn to that. There's 800,000 Muslims in New York. That's one out of every 10 Muslims live in New York City. And Queens is probably the most culturally diverse area in the world. I think there's over 800 languages spoken in Queens. And so, as I said, God has brought the nations here to us and is our desire to be able to make disciples there, to start church planning movements there that spread not only throughout New York, but throughout our country and throughout the world as they go back to their home country and make disciples there. In June, when we get to New York, we'll be living in a Bangladeshi neighborhood uh, there in New York. Uh, for the first year, we're going to be in a missionary training school called Equip. And this is a very hands-on training school where we'll be starting house churches among unreached people groups there in New York. And we'll also be starting Discovery Bible Studies uh, at the colleges there among international students. So there's a few ways that you can partner with us. The first and probably the most important is prayer. Uh, we really need people to lift us up in prayer, to come alongside of us and pray with us and for us. And not only us, but for the people that we're gonna be going to, uh, the Bangladeshi people and the work that's going on among uh, the other missionaries with Global Gates. The second is financial support. Um, a big deterrent for people moving to New York is the cost of living there and the need is great there and so we need um, monthly financial support to help us with our monthly living expenses as well as our ministry expenses and then the final thing is probably the most fun thing is for you guys to come see us come visit well there'll be opportunities for teams to come up for individuals to come up and just see what we saw uh, when we went out there, and that's the, the great need for the gospel among the unreached people groups there in New York City. Mm -hmm.